Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset an ASUS Transformer book flip to factory settings or factory state. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the star menu, just by left clicking on the star button one time. Now you either want to left click on the little settings icon on the left side here by just left clicking on it, or type in settings into the search menu, whichever you prefer. But you just want to open up the settings window here. And now you want to scroll down until you get to the update and security tile, and just left click on that tile one time. Now on the left side, you want to left click on the recovery option. And now underneath reset this PC. If your PC isn't running while well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on get started. Now we're going to have two options here, either keep your files or remove everything. Now keep your files, I would still highly suggest backing up your files to an external media source because this still will remove apps and settings. So even if it says that, I would still highly suggest creating a backup of your files. And the second option, as it sounds here, we will remove everything. It's a true factory reset, restore. We will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So I'm going to select that option here because that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So we're going to have a couple more prompts we're going to have to get through before we can actually begin the reset, refresh process. So just hang tight. Okay, so it's going to ask if you additionally want to clean the drives. Now, if you're going to be holding on to this computer, I'd recommend just selecting the first option, which will also be quicker, which will just remove your files. Second option will actually remove the files and clean the drive. This is more so if you're going to be donating your computer or giving it to somebody else. But like I said, most people, just the first option will be sufficient to just remove my files, which is what I'm going to do in this tutorial. And we're going to have one more confirmation here that we're resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs as well as any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button here to begin this process. It will take a few minutes and your PC will restart. So again, please be patient, give us some time, and once we get back to something that requires some explanation, I will be back.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit.
Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little sample for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay, everyone, so it looks like our Asus Transformer Flipbook, or Book Flip, has been restored back to a factory clean state. So feel free to put any programs back on your computer that were removed during the factory restore process. And then once you have your computer set up the way you like, I would highly suggest that you create a backup or system restore points for your computer device. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.